Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today planning in my Christian planner. I am using a couple of different things. So all of these are from, except for this one, these two things are from um, Tuesday morning and they were very inexpensive. And so I'm planning the month of May. Our daughter is getting married. So I've got a couple of things right here on the front that I want to use. I didn't even look at this washi because there's washi in between. So, oh, I might just, that might be what I'll use. Okay, I was going to pull out, I opened this one up. This I ordered off of um, scrapbook.com and I thought about using that bicycle washi. I think I still might. And then I also, this is Chamel. This is all AC craft. Um, American craft, so there's always good stuff. But um, our daughter's getting married and she loves bicycles, and so I thought I would just pull those two babies out and have those ready and available if I choose to go with them. So, anyways, I hope you guys are having a great week. It is a busy week. We've already started off with, you know, encouraging challenges. <laughs> So, um, but, you know, we'll get there, we'll get there. So, anyways, I want to make sure I'm in frame as much as humanly possible. All right. And, yeah, here we go. I'm going to take this off. I've got my little, and I think I'm going to retire this baby. I've got some other little um, clips that I'm going to use. So, all righty. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this green right along here. And then I might just run my bicycles right along. I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, so... Um, we are getting, we are in wedding mode. We just finished our Passover yesterday, and, um, so, and it was wonderful. It was, or actually we finished it Saturday. It was wonderful. It was fantastic. Yesterday we spent time with our pastor who is retired that we so love, and his wife who we so love, and, um, they are just such blessings in our lives. I cannot, I keep saying that, and they really are and, um, you know, they just, they mean so much to our family. I mean, I, I'm almost about to tear up as I say it. So just, um, amazing godly people. And we were just so honored by them. And we ate at a restaurant we would never eat at in San Marcos, which is a town over from us. But, um, and it was, it was in kind of a college area which it's very interesting the food was phenomenal and our pastor picked it because um they had also led in another seder um passover meal in a town nearby and they wanted to stop on their way back you know home to san antonio and have a meal together and so we were like yes we would love that and so i you know i told them i said because they have particular diets like we have particular diets and um, and he was so sweet. He chose it because they had, you know, vegetarian options, and they did. And the food was amazing. But we were in the downtown area by the college, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna go ahead and with my nail, kind of, yeah. There we go. Bend that down in there. Clip it somehow. Um, but it was um, it was it was lively. <laughs> it was it was definitely not like when I was in college. <laughs> so. <laughs> We all kind of had to go, Ooh, well, there you go. <laughs> so, but it was the best food we've ever eaten at. And so that was that was really amazing. And my husband, he like, you know, my, we, we took our youngest daughter. So we ordered, you know, things like he ordered he ordered tuna fish. He eats fish occasionally. I He knows I'll never even take a bite of it because I won't. I won't take a bite of it. Number one, I didn't like tuna fish when I ate fish. So, and I was like, I've been having GI tract stomach issues. And I was like, really going to order tuna? I can't stand the smell of tuna. And so, but praise God, there was enough. It was kind of an indoor outdoor venue. Um, I didn't smell it. Thank the Lord. And, um, anyways, and so we just, I don't know. Um, I ordered a frittata and our youngest ordered a cheese ravioli with pesto. It was so stinking good. And both of ours came with mixed greens. And then my husband ordered a tuna. And then our pastor had been breaking the fast of unleavened bread and his wife. And so, and she's, you know, gluten-free anyway. So our pastor was just like, 
looking at all the bread. Kind of, you know, my husband said, he's man, he's about to drool. So my or, my husband ordered like a big basket of the bread because they, they buy this bread from a bakery in Austin and it was really good bread. And um, so there wasn't a piece of bread left, not one piece. Between my husband and our pastor, it was gone. And I'm so glad because I think they had the best time. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to put this here for the wedding because it's pink and green. I can't believe there's pink and green flowers. But um, so that is the wedding, I think. I wanted to scoot that up a little bit. Do you know what? I don't think this wants to come up, so it's going to stay. Um, <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, so that I know I want to do that. But now I want to put this bicycle on here somehow. Anyway, so we just had the best time fellowship um they are amazing servants of god and so it was such such a beautiful time and uh we ate we talked we laughed we took pictures we you know the whole thing um talk about you know feeling loved and appreciated um and they they just don't forget anybody i mean they just don't he came and he had a little something for everybody and the children and it was just amazing so anyway so I put my little pink bike oh I don't think you can see so let me move these out of the way so you guys can see everything all right let me scooch that over is that better nope it's not I need to scooch it up a little bit well let me see here is that better well you can kind of see I'll move this up when I get through sorry sorry I, I my camera has been giving me so many troubles I wouldn't even dare touch this camera right now it's been so bad oh my goodness gracious we I have just it's a miracle that it's on and I'm really hoping it's videoing if not it'll be my my cell <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna put pictures and all this stuff down because we will be hopefully I'm hoping this week I'm going to get a new camera. I have a um, a couple of really nice digital cameras, and I probably should look at that for filming, but um, I just use a little bitty Sony um, compact camera, and it's done a really good job of videoing. And as I move into my new space, I'll have better lighting, the whole thing, but for right now, it is what I have. So, anyways, and we are going to the land of Southwest Cacti. My husband and I were talking yesterday. Um, he may take a, some extra vacation. We may head on out, and um, or he may piggyback some of this travel with work and... Anyway, so I'm not really sure all that we're going to be doing, but all of it will be a blessing, and we're excited. So, okay, so I put that little cacti there, and then cactus. I guess cacti is two, right? Oh, <laughs> you have one. Oh, I love this. Mm. We will be making flowers, but I think that's really too big. I think I'm going to wait on that one. We will be making all the flowers for the wedding, so it will be fun, I promise you. So, and I've got to order, we are going to have this coming next weekend, um, this coming next weekend, we're having a bridal shower. Um, so, I'm going to order some boba tea, so we can make boba tea there, and I'll probably take hot tea and things like that. I was packing some of the food today that I'm taking, because I'll be making a lot of desserts once we get there, and um, I was excited. Um, we are going to have, I'm going to put this here for the birdies, because I will have to get them all situated and I think I need to be preparing for the birdie somewhere around here um, actually I'm gonna scoot this over here we have room to write in each one of these um, my birdies will have to have sitters and our critters outside will have to have little friends come over so anyways so I am gonna take the say cheese and put that up here because I will be doing their wedding album this week, and I'm super excited. I have, they have sent me a whole bunch of pictures, not the actual wedding wedding album, but an album to put out at the wedding, of their dating when they were little, things like that. So I'm super excited to do that, and, you know, I'm, I'm definitely a scrapper. I love to scrap, and, uh, yeah, it's always fun. Matter of fact, every time I say that word, I really, really, really want to watch New in Town. Have y'all seen that movie? 
That is so funny. And I love the gals that are the scrappers, scrappers or however they say it. I have a friend from Minnesota and it sounds just like her. So, uh, and she is, gosh, she's such a long time friend. But, you know, I love this bird. Okay, you know that bird has to come. I was watching, and I'm going to put this out because we are going to be making flowers, and I will find a spot for this. Um, I was watching um, Amy Tangerine here on YouTube, and a hummingbird flew into her house. And um, it was a big deal. <laughs> and so she was trying to get the, get the little sweetie out. So I'm going to put this little birdie here. And because I'll be working on all of their decorations and we will be doing flowers so I think I'm gonna put this here because we will be making flowers for the wedding all throughout here and I'm gonna put some other good things down here so um, but anyway so she she caught the little sweetie in her house with a little paper towel and then picked it up gently and, and let it go outside and it flew away and it made me think of my mom because my mom is she or was she was a lady who loved um, hummingbirds and so I have some things that commemorate her in my home that are hummingbirds and um, so I'm going to put this here live in the moment because that's what I want to do and yeah and, and, and when we travel, that that little teacup, coffee cup stays, it just stays going. I'm also going to put this up here because I want to journal every drop of May, whether it be good or bad. And the reason why I want to say that is, you guys know I keep a faith planner and I, I journal in that. But right now, um, I'm realizing that... I mean, I'm surprised I can remember anything these days, but I think the more I journal, the more I'll remember, the more, you know what I mean. So, at this point in the game, I just want to make sure that I'm recording everything. This is a really important thing for me. I was always doing it, and then all of a sudden, I stopped. And, and it's because life got busy, and people needed me, and so, you know, the things that I've always done kind of got put to the back, back burner a little bit. Okay, I think I'm in the... In the frame here and I'm sorry for the 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 cord there we're having it's getting dark today we're having a little bit of not as much sunshine so I apologize so I'm trying to think if there's anything else I do love the pink and the green hearts I'm gonna put that out for the wedding and I think that's it I think um, we're gonna have a big rehearsal dinner here that we are hosting uh oh where the pink heart oh there it is <laughs> it flew right off of me and we're going to host a, a rehearsal dinner here so yeah and we're having a a special um, bridal we are going to do a Mary Kay makeover bridal party doesn't that sound fun? I know and I'm super excited my, I'm going to put a pink heart here my sweet sweet amazingly talented most loving friend who our daughter was just like we please we have to make sure she's coming please 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 because she has meant so much to her daughter as well um and she was just like please 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 and i said okay and um she is she just we, we were talking we were talking about her coming to the the um bridal party and then i said you know what we talked about doing makeovers would you be game to do a bridal shower makeover party and she said yes i would love it and I called my daughter. I said, well, let me check with, you know, my daughter. And I called her, and she's like, yes, let's do it. And so we're not going to be a big crowd. It's going to be a really small crowd. But I thought, it's going to be so much fun. And even if it were just my friend, my two daughters, and me, that would be a blast. Um, my sister, her friend is going to come. I've got a friend and her daughter that might come. And then we have um, my daughter, my sister-in-law, who I adore, and her daughter, and hopefully they're all going to come, and we're just going to have bridal shower makeover party. So I was in there working on the Evite, so I'm super, super excited. Um, well, okay, I've chatted long enough. I think I'm done. That looks bright and beautiful and not overly done. I can still write on it. Let me go like this so you guys can see everything. Didn't it turn out cute? 
Sorry, I'm bumping the camera cord. Please forgive me. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's really time for a new camera. All right. All right, my sweet friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is my month of May. This is really my everything calendar. It's it's more of a functional planner. Um, I have a journal that I'm doing with Erin Condren, and I will come back and do that um, with you guys here this week and for the month of May. And then I will also do my other, um, I have one for work that is just, uh, it's an Erin Condren spiral bound. The other one is a traveler's notebook. And in the spiral bound is where I just do all my work um, as far as YouTube and crafting projects. And pretty soon I'll go back to um, probably taking consignment work, things like that. But we'll see. We'll see. I just, I just got to get out of this uh, space and into the new space and get it organized. So, all right, my dear sweet friends, I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's really bright and beautiful, and it looks like the desert southwest in the United States, and turquoise and, of course, pink for the wedding, and happy birds, and all kinds of goodies. So, anyways, all right, I pray that your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with a friend, leave a comment, send me an email at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. Most importantly, welcome all of our new friends. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because we are going to have a drawing at a 1,000 subscription uh, subscribers, 1,200 subscribers, and 1,400 subscribers. We would love to have you be a part of it. And uh, I'm super excited to give back to y'all. So, all right. Um, thanks for stopping by. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.